So you can see the team we're using today uses Calyrex Ice on a little bit of hard trick room. And we're gonna actually be using a Psychic Seeds Calyrex Ice. This is my favorite set to use, especially in soul restricted formats, because it lets you just eat things from like Shadow Riders, from Kyogres, any sort of special attacks. You don't really care, you don't have to go Terra. You can simply lead NDD, Calyrex, go um, redirection, set up your trick room, and then bring out your Torkoal or your Urshi and win. Now you may be thinking, that's a, that sounds all well and good, but you totally just lose to Imprison. Well, that's where this Fluttermane comes in, because Fluttermane is booster speed taunt, and I can weed Calyrex, uh, and in, sorry, Calyrex and Fluttermane and go taunt their Imprison, and still get up my Chia with this Cali, and if we have to Terra defensively, we can, but then we still get the same amount of, like, Trick Room Sweep. So it's a really, really cool way to play Calyrex Ice. I do think that, like, Sun Room, which is what we're playing here with, like, Hasui and Lilligant and Urshifu Dark, is a really, really good archetype. It's probably my favorite archetype to play in these solo restricted formats. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to get some wins. Calyrex Ice, I will say, is one of those mons that does not need those win more items. I think a lot of people look at Calyrex, right? And they go, they go, like... I'm gonna put a clear amulet on this so I don't have to care about in sin. Or they wanna put like more aggressive items on it, like life orbs. In the past, people used to use white herbs, uh, weakness policy, go for like self procs and stuff like that. And I actually think you should be using more defensive items like, cl not clear amulets, but like covert cloaks, psi seeds, vest on them in some situations if they're not your main trick room setter, and using it to actually facilitate helping it get trick room up. And if you can do that, Pokemon like Urshfu, Torkoal, and the Calyrex itself can actually just win the game once a Trick Room goes up because teams are so aggressive. So if you're struggling to use Calyrex, you might just want to work a little bit more on using more defensive tools, more defensive EV spreads to get up Trick Room, and then from there, people just fold easy. So that's my uh, that's my little advice for using Calyrex Ice. We're going to play some games and hopefully make this work in some battles. So uh, here we go. I think they're going to, going to imprison. I'm going to lead Fluttermane and NDD, and then I'm gonna bring Kali, and I'm gonna bring Urshi, not Torkoal. I think Torkoal is good, I think they have Rain Dance, and I think that's Water Urshi over there. Here we go. Water Kali, Ice, Best Terra. Maybe, I think it might be one of the better ones. Is Choice Specs for Trick something that's viable on Shadow Kali? Oh, most definitely. I think Neil VGC got rank one on Showdown with Specs Kali Shadow. I think Kali Shadow is probably like the best restricted for like casual play. Um, this is going to be a really hard matchup, but we should be able to get up the Trick Room here because they're going to see our Flutter Entity and they have to respect my ability to go like, I'm booster speed by the way on this Flutter, for me to just go Shadow Wall right into their Cali, right into their face. So that would force a Terra or a defensive play and if they just lead Cali Entity, the Entity is the one with Imprison here, not the Cali, right? So if we taunt the Entity, lose the Flutter main, set up the Trick Room with our Entity, and then we bring out our Cali Ice, we win the game. Psychic Seeds, very standard. And that's for uh, for things like Kyogre. We could even go Dark Terror on our Entity if we really wanted to keep it around, but, or sorry, on our Flutter, I don't need to. So we can just go Taunt here. Taunt to stop the Imprison. Uh, just a nice little Trick Room over here. We're also taunting their Trick Room if they were trying to go for like a Trick Room, Trick Room turn one. So the only way that they get out of this is Imprisoning with Shadow Rider which is like way dicey. Like do not recommend, do not pass go. They'd have to go like follow me entity and and uh, imprison with a shadow rider. Nice turn, that's right. Oh, they're waking up choosing violence out here. Is that psychic? They're going for expanding force, right? Sick. They can't break our entity with this. Even if they're specs. I, maybe helping hand does it. Like I doubt it though. Follow me, cool. So trick room will be going up as far as I know. And you can't follow me or helping hand or do or trick room it back next turn. That's I think a really important part. E force coming in hot. Don't one shot my entity with your specs, Cali. God, it's a lot of damage last time I checked. Cool. And remember, we can't use our citrus berry right now. They got a grim nade boost. They do. They do be having those. But trick room is up. Trick room is up. So we could bring out Urshifu right now. And that's not bad because they can't follow me. So I think that would be a good play. But I'm, I think I'm just going to bring in the Cali. Let me think about this. I don't mind Cali here. And then I pivot in the Urshi. I, don't, I like that. Because you don't Oko me. And I think you're Spexed. I'm like 90% sure you're Spexed on that Cali. 
Here we go. Psy seeds busted. I don't think, like, I'm really sure they're specs. I don't think they're sashed. I think they're specs. There's no matter how much damage they do our entity. So, like, I should be able to just go Glacial Lance here. Pivot in here. Now, I could have just went Urshi there last turn and still pivoted in my, um... Kali, but I want to get damage on both of these mons so I can start, uh, I think Glacial Lance is going to be a two-shot into their Indity. And they can still pivot out for Urshi, right? Why no Citrus Berry? Um, the ability on the Calyrex turns off my ability. They have Unnerve and As One. That's what makes these Pokemon kind of nuts. They do both. So we knew that we were pivoting, we are forcing them to pivot there probably to their Urshi, but like, I wanted to get damage in on both mons to break Sashes. Fire Pond, same, same idea, roughly. This is fine. Cool, so it's actually, we baited that mon in where they probably wouldn't have normally brought that thing in. It's neutral damage. Nice, look at that damage. And you can go, um, struggle, dude. The struggle is real. So their moveset's like, probably like imprison, follow me. That's really funny that they had, they went for struggle. That's so funny. So I'm gonna get a plus two off this. And if you wanted to bring in that Urshi, like, I'm good. We know that can't protect. So you just go here. Spiky shield, yo, it's Urshifu, boys. It's Urshifu. Let's go. Busted. He's like, ha, I lived. I mean, to be fair, they only let me get a plus one off that spiky shield. It's the right play. But Urshi's about to come in hot. Chilling they all the way. Wicked blow these though. Let's go. And then they can have, they have their Shadow Rider and just like something else. If they had in sin or something, I don't have in sin, but like, uh, they would have pivoted in it. Was team be on Patreon? Yeah, it'll be on Patreon relatively soon. I just have to make it a new rental later tonight. So Kali comes back out. And Urshifu. So it was Urshi Water, right? It's looking like Urshi Water. Yeah, cool. So we just double tap the, uh, I mean, we still haven't even, have, we haven't even Terrid yet, but we don't have to do anything. We can just click Glacial Lance and just pop that Urshi. Sorry, pop the Cali and we're good. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Hmm. Yeah, we're doing it. I almost probably one shot their Calyrex Shadow after the plus one. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what they want to do. There shouldn't be that much that they can do about this. They're thinking. They're big thinking. Glacial Lance, big damage. Dropping the big subs. But, man, how goes it? Oh, my gosh. So it was sashed. Oh, he just lived at one. Dang, that's crazy. Good thing we double tapped it. Yeah, Unnerve's crazy. It's so good at stopping people go for going for those, um, what is it? For going for those pinch berry, not pinch berry, the, uh, like, damage reduction berries. Because, like, ice reduction berries and ghost and psychic reduction berries are still really strong. Thank you for the sub, though. Hope your day is good. It is, it's been pretty great so far. All right. So, Urshi goes down, but, like, again, we still have exactly what we need to succeed. There are still turns on Trick Room. Um, and Restricted stuff got announced last night. Yeah. It's Lugia time. <laughs> There's our Citrus Berry. You see it activates right when you get sent out because it couldn't have activated before. Yeah, but I think the As One is too good. I think that, like, it sucks that they can turn off those good berries. Like, it really sucks. And we win. Cool. Here for all of this. Yo, we're here. Big damage. Single target. Glacial Lance. Oh, my gosh. Cali Ice. So good. Cali Ice, the most superior horse. I'm pretty sure that was the team that was like the rank one showdown team and uh we take those all the way to the bank it's just that easy bro there's not that much you can really do like against they'd have to lead like very differently and we just have the tools to beat it hope it is going good it's going great yo it's strange it doesn't need gmax though it doesn't need it i'm gonna see if they want to play again you know they see we have taunt I don't, I don't think there's anything they can actually do about it. I don't, there's no imprison, right? They'd have to lead double aggressive mons, and I can always just lead Urshi into him. So, like, even if we get the run back, we're still probably going to win. Oh, run back. Here we go. This guy's about to get his run back. His salty run back. <sighs> okay. Urshi water. I'm fairy terror here. It doesn't really help me out that much. But, like, Urshi water... I think I'm, I'm going to try and see if I can get away with something else here. I'm going to play this matchup differently. How's that sound? You guys want to see me try and play the match differently? 
We're going to try. We're going to try and play the match differently. Because we don't have to do, like, like slow trick room things. This team has a Flutter and an Urshi in it. A banded Urshi. Like, I can just click Icy Wind, Wicked Blow, and you donezo, Chief. Wife's hike was good, yeah. We we went out, got a little bit too much sun, I think. Probably need to bring more water. I brought the wrong shoes to the hike, but you know, we we were foster furloughing a dog, which is basically go to the local SPCA, and we borrow one of their dogs for a day just to get it out of the shelter, get it walking around, show it off to people, answer questions if people want to adopt the dog, and just try our best to get like, you know, more eyes on the dogs in the shelters so people can adopt instead of like, you know, picking up dogs from random places. They're going, ooh, oh, I see you out here. I see you out here. All right, so the question here is like, what are they going to do? Who you hitting, buddy? I'm going to icy win the crap out of that Lando, dude. I'm going to pop that Lando. And I'm actually going to ignore the Lando this time. I'm going to icy win it, but I'm going to hit the entity because I don't want to get de Your devotion to fostering animals is always peak. Yo, big props. So we do our best, yo. It's mostly her. I'll say it's mostly her, but I try my best too. Wicked blow these, though. And thanks for setting the terrain. That means I can just bring up my Cali Ice and use their sec. So appreciate it. Gonna activate my seeds for me. And they can't protect because we're Urshi. So the best they the best play they have here is like follow me, but like I still double tap your Lando. Hey yo, I I appreciate what they're putting down here. They're going big damage. Are they Sandster storming? I wouldn't be surprised. That move can miss though, so don't do it. Oh my god, they almost just lost their Lando to Icy Wind, dude. That's a lot of damage. And I'm gonna let you know right now, we're using a full speed flutter. So like, and I, I think it was the right play to do that. Cause like, I didn't want to get trick roomed. I didn't want to get de-gleamed. I just wanted to guarantee get the unity off the board. I think the entity is more of the enigma. Like Lando can do whatever it wants here. Earth power is fine. Like you didn't stop the flutter and the flutter still has the icy wind that it needs to succeed. And I'm still threatening your shadow rider with, um, with Terra, with just a lot of different stuff. So I'm going to bring up my Calyrex here. Yeah, I could do a couple really cool things here. I think I'm probably just going to Terra. And, oh, it's Ogre Pond. Okay. That works for me. Ogre Pond? More like Ogre. Nah, fam, that ain't me, bro. What Terra's your Kali? Uh, we're, gonna, we're using Water Terra here. They're probably going to Terrastalize that Ogre Pond. Do I care, though? Do I care? Ho is going to be fun. I agree. I like Ho a lot. I don't really mind doing this play. I think I'm doing Dazzling just to keep your Lando honest. And then we'll lose that spot, and then we'll just get up a trick room. And then if they terrestrialize their ogre pond, high horsepower should oko it. Here we go. So they went after, sorry, after my Urshi, which means they probably had Kali in the back. So we're water terror here. Are you reading me, bro? Okay, spiky shield. Not bad. So that's going to be on cooldown next turn, which is so good for me. Right. What do you think the best restrict it's gonna be? I don't think it's gonna be Kyogre. It's hard to say though. I haven't tested all of them. I really I think Groudon's still really good because Groudon's one of its mons one of the mons that makes like everything else better. Like I think Groudon makes a lot of other Pokemon really good. But that's just my thoughts on that. Alright, so they can like wood hammer into my Cali. I think I might just protect, let them KO and then bring in my Indity and then like try my best to win out from there. Probably my best shot. So you protect, you're trying to try and weave in the Dazzling Gleam because you need to do a little bit of damage to their Calyrex. But it's not important if we can't get it up. Actually, let me think about that because I could pivot in. You're going to Expanding Force, not Astral. So yeah, this is fine. Grass Terror, Ground with Solar Beam. I mean, you can go Fire Terror Eruption now. It's like Fire. It's like, uh, it's like Primal. This is going to be hard. I don't think I can. Oh, why aren't they Terrastalizing? Follow me. That is not it. I'm just going to try to let you know right now. You could... Why don't they Terra? Yeah, if they break this... If they break the Cali with like a grass attack, I lose. But I don't think I, I lose to a broken... I don't think that breaks me. Oh, they actually did click Astral. Surprising. So we don't know what their item is, right? But if they're... Honestly, like if they are... If they are specs which i think they are they can't hit the entity now <laughs> so that's fine so we're actually just gonna follow me because now we don't well let me think about that and we need calorex to double tap their ogre bond so i'll follow me 
And we'll click Glacial. And Glacial plus high horsepower should be fine. Cool. Big damage. Oof. Horn Leech. There it is. See, I'm not, I'm not letting him have that into my Kali. Not letting him have it. You can do that into Indity all you want. Astral. See, they're totally specs. They can't hit the Indity. Look how much this doesn't do. Specs plus one Astral Barrage. Nothing. Specs plus one Astral Barrage doesn't do anything. We're going to follow me one more time because this will guarantee get us the KO on their Kali. And then we can just high horsepower out versus their Ogre Pond, even if they go Fire Terra. So this takes out the Kali. It's the best Y Garb Mon. Um, I think Armourge is a really good one in this format. Armourge is a really good one in this format. Um, a couple other ones. Glade's still really good. Hitmon top's okay. Spiky Shield's fine. Yeah, we're, we we have this game wrapped up because now it's single target and I'm a plus one. Cool. Yeah, I don't need to make the read and go for high horsepower. Valiant is too too deep. I think Garg's too reactive in this format. Garg is better in single restricted than double restricted, I would say, though. I mean, Hitmon Top won Worlds in 2016. That was a double restricted format. Steelix. Yeah, dude, Steelix is cool. Weirdness is dissipated. There's one more turn on Trick Room. I actually think that, like, I'm pretty sure... Let me think about what I need to do here. I'll follow me one more time, and I, I think I can just go for the high horsepower. Because you're going to go Terra here. Oh, they go for the double spiky shield. That's fine, as long as they don't miss. This is like my first high horsepower on Calyrex Ice. Can you please not miss my first one? First one. There we go. We got it. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. And I will say this Calyrex Ice does not have full attack investment. You do not need full attack investment on this thing. It's way better to put some points in Spadef and defense um, and get a lot of value out of those stats instead than just maxing your attacks. After one, as one proc, you are just KOing everything. I'm going to try this. I don't know if it works, but I've wanted to try this for a while. Those two are good. I don't need Indity here. Whew. Okay, we're gonna try this. Cool. If this works, this is sick. If this works, this is sick. Watch this. This is gonna be this is gonna be clean. This is gonna be the cleanest thing you've ever seen, bro. If they lead Groudon, oh, I'm going after you, Glacial Lance, going to the races. Giratina is the team that I'm using tomorrow. Giratina is like my third favorite restricted. I have the cleanest Giratina team. I'm going to spend tonight EV training it on the couch. That's not Groudon. You're not Groudon, dude. Where's, where, where is Groudon? Will it hit your Patreon? It will for sure. Yeah, all these teams will. Uh, origin or normal right now i'm going to be using for this one i'm going to be using origin but i like the normal one better than a lot of other people do you don't need a trick room right now it's not it's not important sleep powder never lucky we're trying to stop in prison gravity cool. sing gravity sing so like i just missed a sleep powder <laughs> and you hit me with a sing oh glacial lance dude i'm faster than you oh where are you looking buddy oh my gosh that's a lot of damage last time i checked a lot. No, normal t Ray's terrible. Trick Room. Thank you for Trick Room! Did you think that did you think that I was gonna click Trick Room and so you trick roomed? Cause you know what you just did? You really, you really kind of just messed up, buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at this. Hold on. What is the actual the actual play is still to keep this guy on the board? And just win. You can sing, but like, I get a KO here. I get as one boost. And then you gravitated. So even if you sing me, I still sleep powder your uh, Screamtail. Cool. Dazzling. Oh, that ain't it. That is not the sauce. Sleep these. Hmm. All right, let's see what they got. Is it grout on time? Did we piss them off enough? I think we probably pissed them off, right? 
We can just let them get a kill on the Lilligan. We can protect. Oh, it's Orin Guru. Okay. What Terra's are you going to go on this Orin Guru? Do I care? Water Terra? Probably Water Terra. So we just can go for the win. Oh, dude, I'm doing this. Hold on. I'm doing this. I'm not getting psychic, dude. I'm gonna mess. I'm gonna show you that I don't care about your psychic. Sh show me psychic Lily again. Show me psychic Lily again. Oh, I would love to see psychic on Lily again. I would love it. I would love it if you tried to click psychic on my Lily again right now. Dark Terra. I've been saying since day one is Lily against best Terra. And a lot of people like Ghost. Sometimes it's right to double dip your grass. Dark has always been good. It's just always been good. And you can't citrus me with this orange guru or pinch berry me. Show me psychic. Show me Psychic. Show me Psychic. Nah! Oh! 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 I didn't even need to do that. I did that just to flex to say I'm that much better than you. Oh my gosh. Ah. 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 We just started printing hit you with an a ridiculous game breaking combo. Oh no, that's the worst, dude. Oh, I'm so happy I got this though. That was sick. Are you gonna go grass Terra? No, I don't care. I win. That's game over, dude. You donezo. You donezo, bro. He crashed, dude. It's slower than me. He's he's Iron Ball. That's crazy. Donezo. Oh, ice cold. Ice cold. Dang, this is day one of this farm, I'm already better than like literally everyone else. How do we want to deal with Oof. against this? Slowbro? I've actually thought Galarian Slowbro is one of the like the best Pokemon in the game for a really long time. This is my very first time ever fighting against Trapagos. I've never fought against this Pokemon. All we gotta do is not get imprisoned though, I think, and we'll probably be fine. Um, they don't have any redirection. Oh, am I wrong here? Bro, are you done? Is this really get Jolly? It needs to be Jolly, I hope I'm not adamant. All right, cool. Oh, we're fine. Yeah, dude. Like, I'm about to mess you up, bro. All right, let's try this. First time playing against Etrianus. I don't know what I should be expecting against this Pokemon. But I think I have shots. Sunroom is so strong. Like, you don't have to open up Cali things. And I'm respecting your Urshi over there. Hmm. Ho-Oh players are so hard to beat if you have don't have definitive answers. Yeah, so the way to beat Ho-Oh is to get like one or two KOs on its teammates and then time them because Ho-Oh can't break you back. Ho-Oh is hoping that you self-destruct once all your Pokemon get burned and you start to try and force an answer and then that way the Ho-Oh player can like catch you on a pivot that makes you actually lose the game. Played a lot of Ho-Oh. People can backseat whatever they want, yeah. All right, let's see. So they have Fake Out? You can just pivot. You guys think that's Sash Urshi? What kind of Urshi do you think this is? They can blow a Terra here if they want. I think if you're Terrastalizing on the first turn in metas where like there's no restrictions on the board, you're messing up. You think it's Banded? I don't think so. I think it's Sashed. It's Scarf. What's well, going to be dead? Or it's going to be asleep? So that guy's asleep. I'm trying to think if I want to pivot at all. Like, I could just go after you here. Yeah, this is fine. Are you doing team reviews on Patreon for Regu G? I'm going to do it once I get back from Orlando. I think that's a fair way to trade it. Like, give me like a week to learn the format. And then I'll do all the team fixings you guys want. And then we'll get, we'll do team fixings up until the start of the format. I think that's fair. You know. Base form turtle isn't all that. Its ability is like multi-scale, but instead of damage negation, it's resist a type used on it. Hmm. 
And we're going to find out how good it is in a sec. There's the Trapagos. Still don't know what this does. I have not even looked at this thing's like base stats at all. Has no weaknesses. Do I one-shot it with Eruption though? Terra Shift. Okay, so what does this do? What is it doing now? I mean, doesn't it just die? Like, I don't want to be that guy, but like, bro. Like, you're gone, right? <laughs> Quick draw? Nice. I love the quick draw there. I love it. So you can go for an attack into my Lily Gant, but I'm sashed. And they are terastalizing. Oh, they're terastalizing slow, bro. Oh, they're gaming me right now. Sick, dude. Let's go. Big damage. I guess I should have just slip powdered it, but like, let's see. Water Terror on Glared Silver is a good move. They go after the Lilligant, which is correct, right? But we went for after you, so we're fine. Even if you get the poison, like, we're still good. That was a, that was a good play from them. I liked that a lot. But we get the after you. Let's go! Torkoal these, bro! Alright, Terra Shell, right? Is it because I terra that it like resists me? I don't I don't know how this Pokemon works. I don't know what that Pokemon does. Bro, that, that took that pretty well. That took that pretty well. Not bad. Earth Power Matorical. Hey, he's doing stuff. Oh, it's the first attack. Ah, it's multi-scale. Okay. Why don't you guys just say that? People are like trying to do all this crazy stuff, and I'm like, bro, what's it doing? Dude, my Torkoal ate that. that. If this thing can't Oko a Torkoal with Earth Power, it's hot garbage, dude. Just want to check out something. All right, so it's a normal type still. All right, let's go. Another quick draw. What a gamer. Oh, they thought we were going to after you. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> He did say, okay, my bad, my bad. I did say that. Sorry, there's a, lot, there's a lot of stuff going on in chat. I can't read everything. So it's so weird. People are like, that's a, how are you actually just playing games? Not knowing the meta, not knowing what these Pokemon do. I personally find it myself. I love like limit testing and seeing like, I love learning the L's, like finding the ways to lose myself. And then like from there going to some, you know, ways to fix it. All right, so you've gotten two quick draws in a row. If you can just stop getting those, that would be awesome. I would appreciate it. I love you long time. So, just don't. Typeless spread moves, okay. You think CSR, Caloric Shadow Rider? There's no SSS, this isn't like a fighting game. It's just Pokemon, guys. There's no triple S, double X, 900 Tony Hawk Pro Skater tier, you know, it's just there's stuff that are they're all broken Every single one is good Every restricted is usable Yeah, but Dragonite can do a lot of the same thing As like multi-scale leftovers mons like Dragonite does that And it doesn't hit grassy terrain, but you get the idea, you know, any multi-scale mon can do that Yep. All right, so we win. This ain't FGC. It's not like I play with a fight stick, right? But it's not FGC. I didn't even want to trick on this guy. I didn't have to. I mean, this is the Pokemon that couldn't break the Torkoal with an Earth Power, guys. I have Zekrom and Rayquaza are still usable, though. Because, like, Urshifu's still good. Fluttermane's still good. They're still usable. You think Fluttermane stocks are going to go down? I don't think so. Because, like, Fluttermane is the same speed tier as Maridon and Coridon. Fluttermane is enabled by Coridon. 
Fluttermane checks both of them. Fluttermane checks Shadow Rider. It's good against Ice Rider in some situations. Like, Fluttermane's almost, like, required now. So, so what happened is, like, we had Fluttermane as the best Pokemon in, like, Reg F. And then you had, like, Urshifu attached. So you go, like, you walk in your Fluttermane, right? Because your Fluttermane's your main guy. And then you bring your Urshifu. And you bring, you bring in, like, your D other DLC paradoxes, right? And then you build your team. But, like, now you have your main Uber. And instead of attaching an Urshifu to it, you attach your Flutter to it. Right? That's how it's going to work. Eternatus! Okay. Bro, that mountain transferred all their mons from Sword and Shield. That's like a Sword and Shield squad. Regileki, Urshifu, and Sin. Okay. All right. So if, once we get a Trick Room, we're fine. They don't have any imprisons, So like we just win. We just want to get up the Trick Room as safe as possible. I mean, honestly, I still think that like this is the safest. Even if they weed Rilla, I still think we're good. Their best lead here is the lead in Sin. Pivot in the Rilla, fake out my Cali, but I can just protect that turn and then follow me redirection. So like, I that's why I still you you still carry double protect on both your Entity and Calyrex to stop people from doing that in Sin Rilla, so they can't cycle their fake outs against you. It's really really cool to do. Uh, and then from there, uh, we're gonna bring Torkoal, and I'm gonna bring Urshi over any of these other guys. Uh, Flutter could still be really good once Trickum goes down. I just think Urshi will be good enough. But yeah, so I still think like that's one of the reasons why I'm a big fan of running Protect on both Kali and Indity. So if they lead like in Sin, they might be able to pivot in one of their mounts, pivot in their Rilla, take away my terrain, fake out to stop me from TR, and then have a second fake out the next turn. It's a really, really good way to like delay me setting up Trick Room and take away my terrain so you can have a lot of value. But honestly, if I just double Protect that first turn, block the fake out, and then next turn go like follow me, Protect, like you, you can't, you can't event, you can't get in, right? You can't get in. Does DU Trainer still have Dynamite Scan? It does, but it doesn't do double damage, so it's not anything special. I don't even know if you'd run it. Yeah, we're just gonna go redirect. So it sucks we're intimidated, but like, I think we're still fine. I think we're still fine. Like, we don't care about Incin at all. I kinda wanna just attack this. Oh, dude, I'm doing it. I'm actually, I'm gonna be bad. I'm bad. Let's be bad. Why no clear on it? You don't need it. Why would? Why do I need offensive items on my defensive mon? I need for not. Show me that real pivot, bro. Sub? Hell no. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. You think you're hot shit? No. You think I'm just gonna let you sub? You think I'm just gonna go follow me trick room? I don't give a shit about your parting shot, dude. Show me that real. I'll show you what I'm working with out here. Oh, baby. You can't just be doing this. Yep. Show me that real. Show that real taking like half. But you don't need clear amulet. It's not like required. So when someone's so intimidate, why do I care if it's fans intimidate if I just still win? <laughs> like if I'm still going fuck it up, like why do I care if it's spams intimidate? Spamming intimidate does not solve the problem. All right, so you can cycle out that Lando for Insin here. Let me think about what I want to do here. Yeah, I'm good. I respect I respect your Lando. I'm telling you I respect your Lando here. Like obviously Crime would be really good, but like I don't think it's like required to play. I do not think it's required. Protect Lando's fine. I wanna see if they're U-turning my Torkoal slot or U-turning the Cali slot. Dude, imagine if this move could freeze. Imagine a world. You turn cool. Bring him back in sin. Lum Cali. That's good. Yeah, Lum Cali's fine. It's a good set. Oh, the boy! Here comes the boy. Hello, boy. Yeah, dude. Pivot out that Lando for Insin. Go nuts. I'm at minus three now, right? Here we go. 
big Torkoal energy. We still have an Urshi in the back too. I think we're in a good spot. Yeah, Eternatus is, uh, Reg Reggie starts in a month, but we're already practicing it early. Look at this damage in this Sim, by the way. I think it might be vested in Sim because it U-turned as well. We're going to see. It can't Citrus, so we're actually, we're not going to see. <laughs> I think it's vested, though. Glacial Lance, still a lot of damage. Yeah, you see how I don't really care that I'm intimidated? Like, don't care. Meteor Beam, who are you going after, though? Torkoal? You should better cover this Torkoal, but you're about to get fucked. You better go after this Torkoal, otherwise it's game over for you, buddy. If you're going after this, you're not even, you won't even KO the, the Kali. Look at this. You're weak. Psychic Seed Supremacy! what I say? what I say? What I've been saying this whole dang time. Protect is fine. They're gonna bring in their Urshi, but I don't know how much I care about it. I think I'm still gonna go. Yeah, they can't they can't get out of this. So they're like they parting shotting double intimidated me. And but you know what won me the game? You know what won me the game? The fact that I can't get broken in it by one special attack. I held off their all in and I won. I think. I think I win. Pretty sure I win. Side seeds for the win, you know it. Alright, you can protect that Lando. You're gonna try and wait out my TR, right? Last turn TR. They're gonna pivot in their Urshi and protect. I don't think that they eat this well enough, though. This is my last... They got pressure. This is my last turn. One shot, one opportunity. I think I just go for... Let me think about this. Yeah, I'm just going to catch the Urshi. Cool. Works for me. I'm not going to waste my last TR. Or my last uh, Glacial Lance on that. Still got to hit that Lando with something. And they bring out their Urshi. Nice. You made your Reg G team. Nice. All right, so let me think about what I want to do here. Both these Mons can break their uh, Urshi. It's going to be hard to say I want to do. I'm sorry. Both the Mons can break their Lando. It's the Lando that's the problem, I think. I think I'm just going to pivot in the Entity. And I think I'm just going to Lance. I guess I could try and TR. My Akali also has a lot of investment in... My Akali has a lot of investment in special defense as well. Yeah, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Surf Kyogre's cool. I respect that. That's awesome. I like that a lot. Surf Kyogre's cool. They have to double my Kali this turn. And even if they do that, I just bring up my Urshi, I think. So they have to go like Earth Power plus like close combat. They have to ignore the Torkoal, which I don't think they're doing. Choice Specs Croak. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, Terra Urshi, bro. So I really like that I'm attacking here instead of trick rooming because i want to be able to punish your sub i think that's the right way to play it i think being able to punish that sub is the right i, I think if you get the sub up i'm really sad surging strikes survey says sun's up don't care and if you want to go earth power to me first of all you might not ko me and if you do ko me well you know what you're doing if you ko my calyrex you're not clicking substitute so i'm fine earth power go nuts you might not even get me damn close close and so now we just bring out Urshi and we're fine. Am I playing on Switch? I am, yeah. This should KO here. I think it's more important to go after Urshi because we might just outspeed the Lando anyways. I 
And then we're gonna be able to bring out Torkoal. And that should be able to check anyways. Actually, it might have been better to go after Lando. It's hard to say though. I would hate to like have Lando be faster than me and sub. And then the Urshi just gets to KO my entity for free. That's why I want to guarantee get the Urshi up in case they're subbing here. So they are faster than me here. Which is fine. We just we just win here. You can't stop both, Lando. As long as I as long as I care this Urshi here, I win. But I think I get it. Wake up Odies though. Mmm, I'm banded. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so banded. You ever see anyone as banded as me? I don't think so. The only way to get out of this is like. Sandseer? <laughs> and like honestly, I don't even think Urshi dies to it. They gotta hit both, like, we're go we're golden. Torque will mess him up. And that's friends, that's why we PP Max. Like people think that pressure's a bad ability. Pressure is so good in these restricted formats. Things like Eternatus, I think Giratina also gets it. Pressure's a great ability against like Urshis, Zashians, everything. They're going for the Earth Power. We hold on. We hold on. Wait, Dust Cops, yeah. Pressure's great. Like, I almost ran out of Glacial Lances and Eruptions in this game. But we hold on and we win. We take those big dubs. And what was the question? Why am I not Clear Amulet? What would Clear Amulet have done? Nothing. It's an offensive item. Clear Amulet, you know, even though it stops from being intimidated, it's an offensive item. It's saying, I really want to do this thing. Right? You need the defensive items to guarantee that you get up your speed control. And then you let things like Torkoal and Urshi Okay, cool. That's a good looking team. It's a good looking team. They got the Torkoal too. They got my boy. All right, so Calyrex is good. I'm actually super okay leading like this. I'm going to Trick Room you. You know I'm going to Trick Room you. And you're going to try and taunt me before I can Trick Room you. And I will not let you stop me. Can't stop me, won't stop me, don't stop me. Do I want to lead Urshi? Actually, Urshi's cracked here. I like Urshi. I'm just gonna try this. Let's try this. I don't, like, I want to be able to threaten Sucker Punch if I can. And I know they're going to, like, Entity is really pivotal to their whole game plan because they're either going to be pairing it with Hat or they're going to be pairing it with Shadow Rider. Either way, I think I'm in a good spot. I think I just have to win a speed tie with my Torkoal to win the game. And I might not even have to, depending on how it comes out. I think Water Pond's a really cool addition to that team. Yeah, I'm not sure what I like in Reg G either. I'm just kind of throwing a bunch of different bonds at the meta and seeing what sticks. Hmm. Here we go. I got this. Now, I didn't bring Taunt, but I brought something that pins, like, the crap out of their whole team. Urshi Dark. Oh, yes, Urshi Dark about to cook, dude. Dude, Urshi Dark about to be getting... It. Urshi Dark be eating his wheeze out here. Are you gonna... Are you gonna trick room me? I will let you trick room me, dude. I will let you do it. Bro, I'm gonna let you room the trick. I'm super fine with that. Thank you for the side seeds boost, by the way. I appreciate it. Bruh. Woo! Where you going, Ogre Pond? So if I don't let them trick room, right? You see how they're pivoting? Like, what are you, what are you pivoting it in? What do you think you're pivoting it in? Hat? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like this. Ivy culture, they're faster than me. Don't, don't like crit my Urshi, please. Oh, you did crit my Urshi, but we're still fine because I'm busted. Dunzo. Big Bando. And now it's single target Glacial Lance time. I don't need to trick room. You thought I was going to trick room? And then you could like pivot in hat, like soak this damage and then like do all this stuff. No, I'm just going to not let you trick room and just hit you in the face and then just outspeed you. And now what you need to send this Urshi, send out the freaking Calyrex. This is absolutely fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm golden here. You're gonna have to click, um, sorry, you're gonna have to click, what is that move called? Um, Astral Barrage, you know that move that I don't really care about? And I'm just gonna lose my weakness and like, two-shot you. Yep. And then we can bring an Entity and I still don't care. Because you're not gonna click Expanding in front of the um, Urshifu, right? I don't even need to TR. Not required to win. 
Look how much damage this, this Astral Barrage from a probably spec Shadow Rider does not do. It's going to do not even half. It's going to do not even half. Look at it. Look at it. Nothing. It did nothing. People say I should run clear amulet. Fucking piece of garbage item. It's not garbage, but... You see what I mean, though? Do you see... Clear amulet ain't doing nothing here. Look at this. It has an astral barrage. Yeah, dude, this is how you're supposed to... Like, I'm, I'm way too ahead of the game. Do you have a pace for this team? I do not have a pace for this team. Um, I'm trying to think of what they could do here that's weird. I don't need to... I'll just do this to speed the game up. You could, if you're not, if, if you want to click expanding force, go nuts. Yeah, helping hand. Oh, they're going, they're going damage here. They're going damage here. Survey says expanding force, helping hand, psychic terrain boosted. Oh, you're so weak. You're so weak. What a little weak guy. What a little weak. Who needs trick room, bro? I woke up and chose violence today. Easy peasy. Yeah, I don't I don't build a lot of stuff on Showdown. So I build all my teams just uh, like in a notebook and then I make them on Zing game. They definitely need some hatred. Hey, they had hatred. It wasn't enough. Clear amulet Calyrex could never.